say later on that night told me that he had been shot. Where did this happen? Because he usually gets in the car and just drives home. I had talked to him. Jared was not a victim of any robbery gone wrong or carjacking. Police say he was the victim of a targeted attack on a one-way road. He traveled often. Jared came across a tire police say was intentionally placed right here in the middle of the road in the sanctuary neighborhood of Jacksonville Beach, Florida. That's when someone came out of these woods and ambushed the father of four, killing him on the spot. For almost a year, no answers. Then in January 2023, a break in the case. Henry Tenen was arrested for the following crimes. Conspiracy to commit murder, second degree murder, with a weapon, accessory after the fact to a capital felony and child abuse. Now investigators say that Tenen has pleaded guilty in the case and admitted to shooting Brightigan. Henry Tenen pled guilty to murdering Jared Brightigan. Henry Tenen has admitted that he in fact was the shooter. According to court records, Tenen once lived in this house that was once owned by Brightigan's ex-wife's current husband. And now investigators have charged both the ex-wife, Shanna Gardner, and her husband, Mario Fernandez Saldana. This is a big case, big case brewing down in the state of Florida. Um, and the real question here is the ex-wife of Jared Bridegan, Shanna Gardner, right? She's the one with the, the motive. It's a seven-year-long custody battle. It was bitter. They're filing motions. Shanna Gardner, tons of money, using a lot of it to hire her defense attorney, Jose Baez, in the case. Uh, he'll be in on this one. But the real question I'm asking tonight is whether or not prosecutors will be able to link Shanna to the hitman. What do we know about this hitman? Well, we know his name is Henry Ten, uh, Tenen, born in Hawks, Hawkinsville, Georgia, back in 1961, has no recent legitimate records of employment, was already a convicted felon, felon with a lengthy criminal history, which includes domestic battery, trespassing, multiple DUIs, was already in jail when he was charged with Bridegan's murder, serving time for felon in possession of a firearm after being pulled over with a shotgun in his trunk. Online records show he lives at the 5200 block of Potomac Avenue, a property that Shanna's new husband, current husband, Mario, owned from 2017 to 2022. So Tenen was a tenant. He pleaded guilty to second degree murder on March 16th. And part of his plea is to testify truthfully against any co-defendants. But remember this. After they get that plea, it is Mario Fernandez who was arrested first because you've got that connection. It was Mario's tenant. Tenant is the tenant of Mario. Mario is the new husband of Shanna. But will prosecutors be able to link Shanna to Tenon? Let's bring in our think tank, Daryl Cohen, Molly Palmer, Josh Schiffer still with us. I mean... You I, love this one. You love this one. I do love this one. And I hate to be like Daryl, but like Tenon, the tenant, it's going to be tenuous. <laughs> oh, okay, here's the problem. What we know about the evidence in this case and how they're going to try and link Shanna to the murder is that they have payments, money going from Henry, the tenant, to Mario, his landlord, and they have uh, cell tower data that shows they were on the phone. Don't you think there's a plausible explanation that perhaps he's communicating with his landlord? And how much credibility does the multi-time convicted felon in jail on a gun charge have when it's clear that he can benefit himself tremendously if only he figures out who actually made him do the murder? This is the perfect one of those cases where Mr. Tenen, if he wasn't the state's witness, would be the most unreliable, self-serving, lying, uh, multiple, multiple felon. You couldn't trust him. no reason but to the kill moment, Jared Bridegan. The moment he's useful to, to the state, they're going to bolster him. Oh, he had plenty of reasons to be telling us the truth. And it's going to be all about his credibility and whatever his ridiculous uh, stabbing I can't remember. Was. Did he not plead guilty? Do I remember that? that he pled guilty? So tenant, the tenant, is now a tenant of the system in okay, Florida. Yes. He's going to <laughs> Rayford. And look, I can hear it now on the plane from Hollywood, the writers. 
They're going to reenact soap operas. They're going to bring them back because that's what this is. It's a soap opera. And I would be very interested to hear what his testimony is. And as Molly points out, cell towers, they don't lie. They can't be misinterpreted. It is or it isn't. So it's going to be interesting. But he has a plausible reason to be calling his landlord. I think the issue is connecting, even if you have this evidence of him and Mario being in communication and him paying Mario. I, think that, then... I don't think there's any way Mario's getting, getting around it. There's right. No well, I mean, you know, I, I think if he can say, look, I was, I was communicating with my tenant, the issue is connecting Shanna and yeah. saying she has knowledge, right? It's like the Edelmans. It's the same stuff. It's a, it's a bitter custody divorce and a How? lot of different people and the, are And the question is, like with the Edelmans, right? In, in the Edelman case, Wendy Edelson has not been charged, right? The one who had the real motive. Yet. Yeah, right. Shanna has been charged, but to me the defense is almost the same. Instead of my brother, you know, going out and doing this, unbeknownst right. to me, she's going to say it was my husband. It, it so was, how do you make that link? Is Jose Baez going to take down Mario uh, uh, to save Shanna? It, it, in a heartbeat, mm -hmm. especially depending on how the trial is positioned, Shanna has every single availability to say, listen, what that man was doing while he was pursuing and being in love with me and trying to woo me, that was all him. That had nothing to do with me. He was trying to make how my life better. How ugly does that better. get when you've got co-defendants on trial at the same time? And, and it gets ugly. And it's only, get seven, ugly. only seven years of custody problems, yeah. they loved each other. Normally it's 18. Oh, that's like loved. I meant loathed each other. Well, and, and she had unlimited funds to, yeah. to fight and, and file all this stuff time after time after time. She was just doing it because she could. So she had an unlimited budget that she exceeded. She didn't yeah. exceed it, no. She, she, I mean, her parents are worth tens of millions of dollars. Would she like another lawyer? And so no. far, <laughs> there's no proof of payment. There's no proof of compensation. There's no direct link between her and No Tenet. one with an ounce of common sense is coming there and say, oh, yeah, Henry Tennant on his own decided to commit this murder. No way, because it's a setup. Someone's got to put that tire in the middle of the road. Someone has to know exactly when he's dropping the kids off. Who knows that? Shannon knows that. Mario knows that. Henry has no idea about Jared when he's going to drop the kids off, when he should put the tire in the middle of the road. Now, this is what, if you want to make this case strong, if you have Shanna with the unlimited budget and the high-profile attorney, what the prosecution needs to do right now to strengthen this case is to flip Mario. Mario. They got to flip Mario, and that's what they're working on right now. I guarantee and it. And they can double DP. They can do all kinds of stuff where the pressure is outrageous, indefensible. You can't say no to the. They deal. are. It's they're yep. both facing the death penalty. So yeah. that's what they're doing. They're so doing, you're gonna uh, flip Mario for life. That's. I think if there's he takes smart, a life deal. I and like that. Flip him for life. Connects. I like that. But he'll take a life deal. Yeah. Maybe. I I think that that's what's going to happen here because it is tenuous with Harry. Tenant, the tenant. I think you gotta flip Mario.